Okay, so timestamps are in the description box if you want to skip through this video. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Modern Modiste. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this romper. Here are the fabric cuts. So, I started by tracing my pattern from my How to Make Patterns, Tracing Your Own Clothes video. I lined up the fabric on the fold and traced around it and marked a line at the waist. Please ignore the other chalk lines. I was tracing my pattern in the wrong place at first. I cut it out and marked a lower V neckline, which I later changed as you saw in the beginning of this video to a U neckline. Then for the back, I marked my pattern onto my fabric, not on the fold. Again, I marked a line at the waist and added an inch to the inner side. I cut two of these out. Next, for the sleeves, I traced my sleeve pattern onto the fabric. Then I extended the bottom sides by 3 inches and shortened the length for shorter sleeves and I cut those out. To assemble my romper, I started by sewing the front and the backs together, right sides facing at the shoulders. After sewing together, I finished the raw edge with an overlock stitch. To attach my sleeve, I pinned the center of the sleeve to the shoulder seam, right sides facing. Then continued to pin the rest of the curved edge of the sleeve to the armhole. I sold my sleeve on, then overlock stitched the raw edge and repeated with my other sleeve. Once my sleeves were on, I lined up the sides and pinned the armpit seams together on each side. I sewed the sides closed, sewing from the armpit down the sides and then from the armpit down the sleeves. Again, I finished my raw edges, as I will the rest of them, with an overlock stitch. Next, I pressed the back inner edges in half an inch and then another half an inch to hem these edges. I sewed the folds in place. For the shorts portion of the romper, I folded my fabric twice so I get four of these when cutting. Then I traced one of my shorts onto the fabric. I extended the bottom edge by seven inches. Then I measured from my crotch up to my waist without pulling a tape measure too tight. I added four inches to that measurement and marked that measurement from the crotch seam of my shorts up. Make sure you give yourself enough room between your waist and crotch or else your romper will be wedged where we don't want it and that's not comfortable, so give yourself that space. I also cut four pocket pieces to for each side. Now with two of the short fabrics together, right sides facing, sew down the curved lines. I forgot that one of these, which will be the back of the shorts, needs about four to five inches left undone for the zipper later. Next, I measured two inches from the top edge of each side and I pinned the pocket piece to each side, right sides facing. I sewed the pocket fabrics in place. Thank you. 
Then I lined up the front and back shorts and pinned them together at the crotch and then down the inner sides and outer sides. I sew them together then overlock stitch the raw edges. So this is when I realized my mistake and that I actually needed to leave some of the seam open for the zipper and I seam ripped about 4 inches from the top down the seam. Next I sewed two straight stitches setting my stitch length to the longest my machine would allow around the top edge of the shorts to gather them. I back stitched at the beginning of each stitch but not at the ends leaving enough thread to pull together the shorts. To gather the shorts, I begin to pull the two upper threads with one hand and a fabric with the other. I gather my shorts until the gathered edge matched the length of the bottom edge of my top. Once fully and evenly gathered, I pin the top to the shorts, right sides facing, lining up the center front to the front seam of the shorts and the side seams. I pinned the rest of the edges together and left about one fourth inch on each back end on the shorts. Then I sewed the shorts to the top. After trying it on, I decided to alter my neckline a bit and take off an inch from the bottom. I hemmed the bottom of the shorts with a double fold hem. Then I hemmed the sleeves with a double fold and left an opening so I could feed the elastic through. I cut my elastic to fit my wrist plus seam allowance and used a safety pin to guide my elastic through the casing. I pinned and sewed the ends of my elastic together Then pulled the elastic into the casing and sewed the opening close. I went back and overlock stitched the raw edge attaching the shorts and the top and then top stitched. Next, it's time to add the bias tape neckline and the zipper. I bought pre-made bias tape and I'm using this white invisible zipper because my fabric store didn't have a zipper that matched my fabric. But yeah, I sold my bias tape to the wrong side of the neckline of my romper, leaving about 12 inches of bias tape on each end which will be the tie strings in the back. I folded in the short ends of my bias tape and pinned, then folded the bias tape to the front of my romper and sewed in place. To finish the romper, I pinned the zipper into the back of my romper and sewed the zipper on with my zipper foot.
And that completes this project. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.